Hello and welcome again to the fourth part of uh, our follow-up on the Heart Chakra prayer. Uh, in case you were new uh, to this video series, there's a description. In the description, there's a link to the original video, which is a little prayer I once found probably in a yoga book tradition, and I don't really remember um, where it came from. So it's not something I made up by myself. Uh, it's sort of something I found. And um, I found it really useful in terms of self-care, starting with compassion right here with this sentient being and um, helping yourself, reminding yourself on being kind and gentle with yourself. Why is this important? Because over the years, um, I saw that uh, a lot of people, and myself too, we are not really good in being gentle and kind with ourselves. We can do this for others quite well, often. You know, but when it comes to ourselves, we have a little blind spot sometimes. So if you go through a period where you feel down and I don't know, you know, you don't feel well and you feel like it's the relationship with yourself is not so good. So this is something that might be able to help you. Just if you honestly practice that, remind yourself in the morning and in the afternoon or before you go to bed maybe you can say this little prayer and you know add a little meditation practice to it and it might help you so in the beginning of each session i'm going to read this little prayer and then i move on to uh, the line where we are and explore a little bit on the meaning of it here goes i accept I'm sorry, I love and accept myself as I am. Again, I love and accept myself as I am. I let go of my past, forgive myself and others who have hurt me. I no longer hold crutches and trust the universe is guiding me to the right people I need in my life. I am open with my feelings in all relationships. I willingly release all fears, concerns and worries about giving and receiving love. I give and receive love through healing, acceptance, and compassion. So today we look at, um, I'm open with my feelings in all relationships. I like that one. And um, there's a very important point here. It talks about openness with feelings in all relationships translated or let's put it in other words you know from a buddhist practice point of view be truthful be truthful honest i cannot imagine how there is a really a life lived well or an honest deepening spiritual path if you cannot be honest i mean honesty and truth are interlocked this opening up to life to the world really means to be honest you know also honest with yourself you know not overseeing your shadow part you know that's you know a part that we like to oversee the part inside myself that I don't like about myself. Oh, I did that thing again. Or I behaved like that again. Oh my God, that's so bad. That's exactly the part where you need to be on it. Oh yeah. Wow, that's also me. Or that's a behavior I'm having. Or a behavior I'm showing. Or an anger that's coming up. A fear that's coming up. Especially with those parts that we love to reject. No, 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 not that. That's exactly where we need to turn our attention to and deeply look into. What is it? You know, that's how we approach things from a Zen uh, Buddhist point of view. We question, we inquire, we turn inside. 
what is this? Not analyzing it in our head, but bringing it into our awareness or turning our awareness to this whatever it is and questioning what is it and we leave it there we don't try to bring up an answer from our head we just leave it open we let truth be in this present moment we let it be Oh, no you know and um, this is something we can carry in our relationships not trying to be manipulative not trying to lie not trying to hide with uncomfortable things and um, of course it you know we all have to learn to be skillful with the truth you know if you walk around and um, just spill our truth, you know, sometimes uh, it's an it's just an opinion onto other people, you know, can be difficult. But so let's stick it to ourselves. Let's stay there, you know, and try to find a way to be open and honest. Honesty is very, very important in this life, in this game of life, you know. Uh, I don't know if there's another way of getting yourself, getting to know yourself better and getting, getting really deeply into life and connecting with other people. I don't know if it's possible if there's no honesty. So that's really something worth working on. Being open with whatever you feel and trying to find skillful ways of expressing that. You know, not being blocked by the fear of rejection, the fear of not being accepted, because of what you feel, you know. But the most important part is to first see it for yourself, you know. We don't have to spill out everything right at that moment, you know. But if we over time see that certain kind of patterns reappear, reappear, we have to have a closer look at them. You know, why is a sudden a certain situation making me angry or pissed off? What is it, you know? What is it? And often it's a really good way to, to sit with it, not to run away from it, not trying to understand it from a thinking uh, point of view, but rather really just being with it, you know, gently. Oh, I'm angry. Or even a better expression, the noticing anger. You, know, you don't even have to make the words you, if you're aware of yourself and you get to know yourself better, you understand that. Oh, anger. But you don't even have to say the words inside of yourself. You know, it's more... Mm -hmm. And then you stop and then you breathe and then, you know... So try that. I like that line it's a very important reminder being open with my feelings in all relationships you know you could also say walk through life with honesty utmost honesty don't be afraid you know don't be afraid of the truth I know it says in the Bible somewhere, the truth will set you free. That's true from a spiritual point of view. You know, but you have to be willing to encounter it. And you have to be willing to be guided by life. Not by your thinking, not by my idea about my life, my goals, my plans. No. 
there's a bigger picture going on. And um, we can get into that or flow with it once we start to really be honest. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, I hope you're doing well and um, bye bye. Thank you very much for watching this video and um, if you like to see more and receive news about upcoming videos you may subscribe to my channel which is done by hitting the bell over there and um, thank you very much you know I appreciate it and um, I hope you have a good day bye bye